Hey guys, so let's just jump into this week's new releases and sneak peeks. So first we have Juvia's Place Heroin Glow 1 and 2. Now, I'm not really interested in this. I love the packaging, love the artwork as normal, but I'm not really interested in this because I feel like they're single highlighters. I think the last ones that they did were loose highlighters and now these ones are pressed, but they're all gold toned, like deeper gold tone, bronzy to like regular gold and lighter gold. So I'd like to see them do some other kind of highlighters rather than just gold i mean they did have the blush palettes and those ones had um gold and pinky kind of highlight shades but as for their singles i'd like to see them do other highlight shades rather than just gold and i do hope that they use this same artwork to do like an eyeshadow palette with because this artwork is fire next tony moly and moschino are doing a collection now apparently this is only available in asia at the moment you can order it from some Asian beauty websites. I did get an email from an Asian beauty website and it was available on there and they could ship to the UK. I'm not too sure about the States. I'm sure they could ship to the States as well. So it might, you might have to go to an alternate retailer to get this if this is what you wanted. So I believe that this has lip tints, it has eyeshadow palettes, it has foundation cushion. I really like the packaging. I think it's so gorgeous. But even when I looked at it, I was just kind of like, I'm not really interested in the products themselves. So I'll just be wasting my time and wasting my money. Lisa Eldridge is coming out with some bullet lipsticks. And these are like velvet lipsticks. The girl who's holding the lipsticks, like in that picture close up, it looks like it's that rose petal feel. But the actual pictures the three along the side, they just look like regular lipsticks. So I don't know if they altered that picture with the model holding it. Either way, these look really nice, but red isn't really my kind of color. That's not like my go-to color. Anyway, and Colourpop are doing a vault like of 25 new eyeshadows. Shadows. This looks huge. This looks crazy. I would never even dream of buying something like this. I know that there's loads of people who would, but this is just not for me. Anyway, it's $99 for 25 new shades. I like the stamp prints that they've put on this. Huda Beauty is coming out with some new power bullets. These are sparkly lipsticks. I like the sparkle that is throughout the lipstick but i'm wondering whether or not it's been digitally enhanced on the computer to look even more sparkly because i can't imagine them having that much glitter in it again these aren't my kinds of colors so i'm not even drawn to these at all personally linda haber cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette this is very very reminiscent of christmas you know you've got the gold you've got the red you've got the brownie shade and you've got that dark green beautiful and i love the print it's so gorgeous the only thing is you would have to draw for another eyeshadow palette so you have some mattes to do like your transition shade and stuff like that but this is beautiful i just don't see myself ever getting something like that then we have bh cosmetics new ultimate matte palette now this looks to me like a watered down version of the james charles morphe palette not in a rude way or anything but i just see like this i just see this as a diluted version of that palette eh, i'm not that taken aback by it to be fair i don't feel like it's anything unique or anything that they don't already have on their website colourpop are teaming up with i am becky g i don't know who that is but they are creating luster dust highlighters an eyeshadow palette and some liquid lipsticks i like the palette but i don't like it enough to buy it i don't feel like these shades are like my kind of color story but at the same time i can look at it and still appreciate it so congratulations to i am becky g i'm sure this is going to go amazingly for you and elf cosmetics are coming up with some new metallic flare highlighters now these look nice they're only six dollars each as well but again these are just like all variations of gold what about people who want like a frosty silver or a pink or do you know what i'm saying like gold doesn't suit everybody so it would be nice to see something which is a little bit lighter i know there's going to be some people who say oh but there's like a million and one 
really really light highlighter shades like yeah i know but it doesn't mean that you can't cater to these people who need it anyway but yeah so these do look pretty i like the print i think that's the main theme of today's video is the prints of pressed powders these are really pretty i just don't see myself needing or buying these because i'm looking at my vanity right now is that i can just see a million and one highlighters and i don't need no more another highlighter by fenty beauty the diamond ball out killer what which is just covered with swarovski crystals and so is the brush i think that's just extra it's just so extra <laughs> <laughs> it's cool but it's just so extra NARS are coming out with the ignited palette this is cute but I don't see I couldn't mm, I don't know there's something about it that I'm not that drawn to it like there's something about it that's not making me feel like I'm drawn to it but I can't deny that the shades are nice because I used to love purple and there's a couple of pinks in there um mm. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just not that drawn to this. I'm really not, I'm so sorry, Nard. Smashbox are coming out with a huge cover shop palette, as well as what looks like some liquid lipsticks and glosses as well. Is this a whole collection? This is a whole collection. Okay, that's cute. I'm not really feeling it, and especially as I already have one of their cover shop palettes, and I just was not, I was not impressed at all whatsoever. So nothing makes me want to buy this at all. And then Wet n Wild are coming out with some new 3 in 1 primer waters in coconut, cucumber, and rose. I've never tried primer water. I've never tried it. Can you use primer water also for like as a setting spray? Like I, when people say primer water, I think that is in replacement of a regular primer. Am I wrong? tell me because I've never used primer water anyway these are gonna be $4.99 each this might be interesting to try who knows and lastly we have Lancome coming out with their marble balms I love the picture for this but if it's just a balm a lip balm I don't really want to be paying Lancome money for lip balm like no love the packaging I love the picture but no anyway so those are all of this week's new releases and sneak peeks I kind of feel like everything is slowing down so I'm not really taken aback by any of these items I kind of feel like everything's slowing down now seeing as we're running into Christmas maybe everybody's kind of stopped making stuff because there was not a lot of stuff on trend mood but that's fine by me it really is anyway so let me know if you are interested in anything in this list because I know that I certainly I'm not anyway so let me know your thoughts and feelings on this week's new releases and sneak peeks and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video